Yeah, is someone gonna get that? Oh, all right, I got it. I got it. Hello. This is the Automated National Pill Monitoring Agency. Your morning medications were not taken. To avoid fines and penalties, please comply within the next ten minutes. Thank you. We are here to help you. I hope I don't get phone calls like that in the future, huh? But, unfortunately, coming to a future near you, the um, pharmaceutical company has now come up with the technology and letting them embed microchips into the medications, which relay signals, letting the doctors know whether or not you've taken your medications, your SOMA. <laughs> well, it's only a matter of time before they start to incorporate the technology into the monetization of your life. And the way they'll do that, of course, is through connecting the pills with some type of reinforcement. You know, the reinforcement style usually used in this uh, economy we're in is uh, to fine you, to penalize you, to levy fees against you, some form of taxation on you. And sure enough, you will be fined for not taking your medications. The New World Order started by first introducing this into the seniors market because, of course, they're, you know, forgetful. And some seniors, I have a client, is 62 years old. He's on 28 different medications. He's uh, developmentally disabled, so he has no choice. He has to take everything they give him. Well, now they have medications for everyone, and soon these chips will be in all of them. Let's uh, take a walk with me here. We're going to go through a couple of uh, websites. I want to show you what's in store for your future. <laughs> this is experimentalvaccines.org, and we're going to go chase some rabbits. You know, on, on second thought, hang on a sec. Uh, I know out there that a lot of people, there's a lot of people out there that believe that, you know, it's not real unless they see it on TV. So let me show you this clip here first, and then we'll run with it. Brace yourself. The FDA has approved a kind of attachment for all types of pills. It's a tiny, harmless transmitter that will electronically register if you've taken your pill or not. It mixes with stomach acids and sends out a signal that you've indeed taken the pill. Its creators, its inventors, hope it might be used for seniors who often forget to take their meds. I know, I, I made the same face, so... It, it, at least we're on the same page now. Let's, let's run with it here. Um, we land on HLNTV.com. Uh, the headline starts with, Take two microchips, call me in the morning. <laughs> the first bullet point here is, FDA approves first digestible digital pill for use in placebos. Let's uh, scroll down and find out how this uh, technology works. Here we go. The sand particle size sensor consists of a minute silicone chip containing trace amounts of magnesium and copper. When swallowed, if it generates a slight voltage in response to digestive juices, which convey a signal to the surface of a person's skin, where a patch then relays the information to a mobile phone belonging to the man. <laughs> a healthcare provider. <laughs> I often wear my glasses when I read this stuff, sorry. Let's uh, uh, continue our journey here. Uh, uh, look at the little pills there in the phone, in the patch. Wow, it's all programming, huh? All right, let's, let's run with it. Uh, walk with me over here. Yeah, at newsblog, uh, nature.com. So um, this is going to shore up a little bit more of their agenda here. Check this out. Digital pills make their way to market. Uh, let's uh, scroll down here and you'll see the same visual placement, the same exact picture. Here's what I want here's what I want to point out right here. Currently, the FDA and the analogous regulatory agency in Europe have only approved the device based on studies showing its safety and efficacy when implanted into placebo pills. Notice the word efficacy there. That's that's a, a red flag for something hinky's going on because they love that word efficacy. So um, uh, let's keep going here. But Proteus hopes to have the device approved within other drugs in the near future. Medicines that must be taken for years, such as those for drug-resistant tuberculosis, diabetes, and for the elderly with chronic diseases, are top candidates, says George Savage, co-founder and chief of the medical office at the company. The company we're talking about here is Proteus. They're the ones who are making the pill. So um, let's, uh, let's roll up here. 
See, so you, you can see they're they're already pushing it in the meme right there by a uh, uh, in, into the public by uh, implanting in your head the fact that they're going to be putting in another medication soon. So, well, run with me here. Let's uh, let's check out another website. Here we go, the belly of the beast. This is the manufacturer of the uh, the digital medicines, okay? the Proteus Digital Health. Digital medicines shifting the care paradigm. <laughs> Notice the hands in the picture to reinforce the senior aspect of it all. Well, I mentioned in one of the uh, on my blog, I do a, a daily blog where I cover different articles every day. So if you're interested in reading those, I'll, I'll leave a link to that in the below. But uh, one of the things I mentioned was I believe that they're going to start uh, the next group of people they'll start prescribing pills to is going to be uh, developmentally disabled. So let, let, let's roll down here and uh, let me uh, reinforce that with some uh, information from the man here. Here's some of the uh, different diseases they hope to embed their chips in the medications of. And you'll see the diabetes up top. Uh, central nervous system care. Check it out. Diseases of the central nervous system including schizophrenia. Right there. I'll stop right there. Uh, all the other ones are very important too. Let me just keep going here. Multiple sclerosis, uh, Huntington's disease, Parkinson's, and Alzheimer's. Now I did a video also just this last week on Alzheimer's and its connections with um, statin drug use, uh, which is prescribed over I believe 60 million people now in America. In, in America. And there is 5.4 million um, Alzheimer patients so far, uh, seniors being the majority of them. But uh, I work with developmentally disabled, and I've worked with schizophrenics and people suffering with all types of mental illnesses before. And believe me, they hate taking their pills. They hate it. And this would be one way to definitely uh, either get them in the institutions called prisons or uh, make sure that they take their pills and uh, get their chemical lobotomies. So. And the, the last one here, uh, worth mentioning, is transplant care. So you got to be careful there. Even just going in for a transplant, all of a sudden they're, they're, they're monitoring you. So let's run with it here. Uh, follow me over here. Let's, uh, let's go to another website here. All right, check this out. Just for those people that aren't going to comply with their medications, you know, maybe the people that are incarcerated, those types of people that they they don't want to deal with the daily allocations of medicine maybe this is this will work because this is parallel to the same technology here we're on a uh, genetic engineering and biotechnology news and let's uh, scroll down here I think you'll find this extremely interesting here we go uh, drug delivery via remote control the first clinical trial of an implantable microchip based drug delivery device produced very encouraging results <laughs> and you can see the scientist there looking at it reminds me of that guy staring at the chad Remember in the 2000 election? Just looking at it with amazement. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you found this interesting. Uh, let's uh, head back over here to my website. I encourage everybody, I uh, do weekly uh, postings of videos. Uh, you can subscribe to my website here. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Google Plus through uh, uh, the buttons over here. And uh, um, I encourage you to click some of the other buttons on my website. I'll leave all the links to everything we've already discussed in uh, uh, the description area below. So um, enjoy, everybody. Sorry. Uh, watch out for the pills because they're going to be watching you. <laughs> and uh, please uh, repost, share, and distribute this information so we can uh, help uh, fight the new world order. Later. The FDA has approved a kind of attachment for all types of pills it's a tiny harmless transmitter that will electronically register if you've taken your pill or not. It mixes with stomach acids and sends out a signal that you've indeed taken the pill. Its creators, its inventors hope it might be used for seniors who often forget to take their meds.